All right, we're taking a look at how to install an external hard drive. So a while back, I did a video installing my three terabyte external hard drive for Xbox One. I'm gonna show the process on the new dashboard and everything. It should be largely the same, I believe, but a little bit different. And since I filled my 3.5 terabytes of space, I need a five terabyte. And yes, that's right, I have an insane amount of space. So when you're looking to buy an external, I definitely suggest the Seagate. Uh, the one I've had has not failed me or had any issues, and it runs around the clock, basically updating and everything like that. Um, so definitely, I would suggest three terabytes and up. Regular people, three terabytes should be fine. I need five terabytes; it should last me to the end of the generation. So here we go. Here's the fancy new five terabyte. It's about the same. There was an eight terabyte, but I was like, uh, it's a little bit too much extra for that amount of hard drive space, which is just not that necessary. So it needs to be a USB 3.0 connection in order to work with Xbox One. You simply plug it in. I suggest sitting this on top of the Xbox One on the left side where it's flat. Don't put this on your fans. Do not. And then you just follow the instructions and install it, which I'll show in a sec. Uh, you don't need to see it plugged in because in the other one I plugged it in. I mean, come on. I'm not going to not use this. And then you should see the instructions in a second. If you have any questions at all, please let me know and I will try to help you out. But I will not do Google searches for you. This cost me approximately 200 Canadian, so it will be roughly the same or different depending on your currency. Do the conversions yourself, don't be lazy. Alright, now that we have it plugged in with the power cord and the USB into the back of the Xbox or the side, there are three USB ports you can use currently. Uh, you're going to click Format at Four Games, give your device a name, most likely install things here by default, and format your storage drive. This will take approximately a minute or so depending on how much space it is. Just give it time and eventually it will say it's ready and your new storage will be available. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. And it really is that simple.